The lateral lunge is all about sideways motion. Lateral meaning side or off to your side. That's the direction that we're going to be lunging in. Remember, lunging is just an exaggerated step. Now, this could be a lunge, and this could be a lunge. We're going to explore your ranges of motion. So you're going to try and challenge yourself, but in a safe manner. So you don't want to go so far that you feel compromised, but you want to travel far enough where the muscles actually start to wake up. And the further we travel from center in a controlled fashion, the more we give our body an experience of how to return back to where we started from. So with the lateral lunge, you can imagine that you are standing on a clock with 12 o'clock directly in front of you and 6 directly behind you. Off to your right is 3 o'clock and 9 off to your left. And so we're going to be stepping toward 3 o'clock and then toward 9 o'clock. Now, when lunging laterally, we still want our torso in this position faced forward along with the feet as well. So as we lunge out to one side and then return, we'll also find that one leg is extending while the other one is flexing. Meaning as I step into this position, this ankle is dorsiflexing, the knee is flexing, the hip is flexing. While over here, we've got the ankle that's plantar flexing, the knee is extending, and the hip is extending. We can also use terms that are along the frontal plane. So one hip is going to be abducting, pulling away from the body, while we're moving the body toward the other, adducting. So as we lunge, either to the left or to the right, we want to make sure that while one leg bends, the other maintains a straight position. Now, if we see that when you lunge off to one side and this knee is incapable of extending, that gives you a sense of what the quality of tension or, or compression in this particular area of the inner thigh is more or less experiencing. If this knee has trouble extending, that means that this tissue is having trouble lengthening or opening back up again. Just some good insight. And if you find that when you do the lateral lunge, that you lunge on out and the hips only go so far, but then the head starts to drop down, what your brain is telling you is that you're actually going lower because your head's dropping down. But the hips, they actually don't go anywhere. So it's important that you experience how the hips travel across and down, and can the head stay upright above the hips themselves. If you notice that the head travels toward being over the mid-thigh or the knee, well, that should be an indication that you're breaking away from your pro proper form. So when laterally lunging, is the head over the hips or is it over the knee? Be sure to keep yourself upright when lunging. And now we might find that lunging to one side, we may need more than lunging to the other side. Just because we can do both sides doesn't need, mean that we actually have to focus uh, on both sides evenly. Chances are we have this subtle imbalance that is already shifting us perhaps to one side. So by shifting to the opposite side may be a new experience entirely and it's something we might need to focus on. We won't know that unless you assess before and after the movements to find out which side is the right one for you or if both sides are what you should focus on. Try it out and see what happens.